Hello! Today I'm going to teach you how to paint on canvas. First, you're going to need a reference photo. I'm using three sunflowers on a vase by Vincent van Gogh. Feel free to use any other image that you prefer. We'll also need a canvas, a brush, here I'm using a flat brush, some watercolors, a towel or paper towels to dry your brush, two cups of water, and some color pencils. My first step will be to sketch my subject on the canvas using a light color pencil. Details are not important. I am focusing on the basic shapes. Also, remember that watercolor is not opaque, so some of the lines will be visible through the paint. So I'm going to use light pressure and I'm going to try to keep my lines clean. Once my sketch is done, I'm ready to start painting and I'm going to try and work from light to dark colors. Wet your brush before going into the watercolor paint. The more water you mix in with your paint, the more transparent it'll be and the lighter the color. Start painting using your reference photo to guide you on where to put down the color. Use one of your water cups to clean your brush before switching colors. Use the clean water of the second cup to dilute your paint. To make colors blend together, make sure that you are working on them while they're still wet on the canvas and that you're using lots of water. Notice how the wet colors on the vase are going to start blending together, but the yellow on the sunflower touching the vase is not going to blend in with these colors because it's already dry. Once I'm sure that all of the yellow areas are dry, I'm going to start working on my background so that the edges of the sunflower petals don't mix with the blue of my background. Use the edge of your brush to cover smaller areas of your painting. Don't worry if your colors are looking too light. This is only the first layer and we can always build up the color.
Here I'm adding more water to my already mixed paint to make it lighter and more transparent. I'm going to let the sunflowers dry and meanwhile I'm going to darken the color of the table with the second layer. Now with the sunflowers dry I can start building up the color to darken it up. Using the edge of my brush, I'm going to add some details that should help define the petals of the sunflowers. Now I'm going to work on a second layer of my background to darken the blue. To paint in the white parts of the vase, I'm going to use a very watered down paint. If you feel you put down too much color, use a paper towel to absorb or wipe up some of the color before it dries down. Here I'm continuing to darken the table color and I'm going to repeat this process as many times as I need to, to get the color that I want. And I'm just gonna need to let each layer dry before adding a new layer. For now, I'm pretty happy with the colors the way they are right now. I'm going to take a minute to look at my painting so far to see if there's anything that I'm missing before I go on to the color pencil details. If you hold your painting up to the light, you'll be able to see the areas that are still wet and that are gonna need to dry down before you go in with any color pencils. While I wait for the paint to dry, I'm going to paint the sides of the canvas. This step is not necessary, but if you do it, just make sure not to put your finger on the wet paint because it'll smudge. I'm trying not to use too much water on my paint here because I don't want drops to drip down onto my painting. Here you can see what I mean. It, there's excess water there, so just dry your brush and wipe it off of the canvas. Now for the last step of this painting, I'm going to add details using color pencils. This time I'm going to work darkest to lightest. Outline the shape to define it and then add some texture by adding some lines inside the shape and experiment with the direction of your lines. Add as much texture as you like but try to leave some areas where you can see the watercolor th through the lines. Because we're trying to copy Van Gogh's style, we just don't want the shapes to look too smooth, and so the squiggly lines help create that texture. I'm going to add black to the areas where my lightest colors 
meet my darkest to help define the shapes further. Throughout this step, I am constantly comparing my painting to my reference photo and trying to find any details that I'm missing to add them in with my color pencils. Keep looking at your reference and adding details until you're happy with your painting. And then, you're done. I hope that you enjoyed the process of making this painting and that you'll paint many more.